Hi guys, in this video I want to show you a neat trick which I recently learned on how to use Easy Drummer to replace the or augment the audio you've recorded of drums that might not be up to scratch. So here we have a session recorded in my band's jam space using just kind of budget microphones and that and set up pretty haphazardly just to get a demo recording. Nothing serious to be released. So here's how this sounds. Now you could go back and do a load of work on it and maybe polish it up a bit, but you can't polish a turd as they say. So in this video, I just want to focus on the bass drum. So this is how that one sounds. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty weedy, not great. So if you want to keep the performance, but make it sound better, like give it a more professional sound to it as if you recorded it professionally. This is a great method. So step one, you want to add a new track and add Easy Drummer as an effect. Uh, I think I'm using Easy Drummer 2 here, aren't I? Yes, I am. And load up whatever you use generally. We'll just go for the basic drum kit from hell. And the kick on that sounds like this which is a lot nicer. You hear it on a lot of recordings though, so I wouldn't recommend this if you want to be original sounding, but um, you can always make it your own with effects and EQ and changing around the reverb and a bit, of more, bit more mixing later on. So what you want to do then is load up just a simple drum beat. Yeah, something like that. And then drag that into your window. Double click on the MIDI, and then you want to find where your kick drum is on the piano roll. In this case, it's on C2. And you can see at the top of the screen, it shows the C number and which MIDI note, which MIDI me message, MIDI number, I'm not sure. It corresponds with. So here we have C2 which is 36. So just make a note of that number and get rid of this block you put in. Right, so 36, remember that. And you go into the effects on your bass drum track and what you're looking for here is Rhea Gate. It's one of the bundled plugins with Reaper and so everyone will have it if you have Reaper. Reaper is free, by the way. Or, well, it's not free, but you can use it for free for as long as you want to. So lots of people do. Sorry, I just skipped a step. Uh, this stuff, the envelope, you want all of this set to zero. Um, I don't think hyper... What is that? Hyperstoresis, I'm not even sure what that means, but anyway, you can leave that as it is. Uh, all the rest of the controls, the usual um, envelope names, can be set, to, or should be set to zero. And then you want this lad, send MIDI on open close note, and that number I told you to note before, type that in here. So 36, and then you want to adjust your threshold here until all you're hearing from the kick sound is just a click on the attack. Yeah, something like that is good. Uh, you can always fine tune it later if you're getting double hits or weird sounding hits, but um, that will do for now. Apologies for my dog barking in the background. I don't know what his problem is today. And then the next thing to do is go to the routing on your Easy Drummer channel. I'll just rename that quickly so that I know what I'm doing. 
yeah, go into the routing there and you want where is it gone? Receives is it? From the bass drum. Yeah, that should work. Uh unsolo that. And there you go. So there's no MIDI information typed out or recorded out there waiting to be played. It's all being streamed from the bass drum track. And one cool feature here you might have noticed is that it's actually playing both the original and the sample. You can simply turn down the fader on the original so that it's purely the sample. Or you can blend between the two, which is a way of making it more uh, your own, basically. So you're mixing your recording with the pre-recorded stuff, augmenting the your own recording rather than just replacing it. So just as a comparison, here is the original. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. For a comparison, here is the original. And here is the replaced sound. Now, of course, this isn't just the bass drum, you can do it with everything. Uh, the easiest ones to do and the most effective ones really to make your sound more professional would be the bass drum and the snare. But you can take it further and do the toms if you have individual tracks for them, which I do, but um, I don't feel like going into it that far. And this kind of gives you the basics. So hopefully this will help you out with achieving a more professional sound from a home studio, say. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and check back for more content.